Hi all, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Azari Matyase, and this time we're going to learn the basics of one of the most complicated yet satisfying drawing, the isometric. There are a few principles that we're going to cover throughout this video, but before we do that, we need to adjust the set square to 30 degrees. We will rely on this throughout this drawing, so make sure it's accurate. To initiate the drawing, we need to construct the plan on isometric. Note where the X and Y axes are. First, rotate the plan 45 degrees. Then we're going to flatten it a bit by shifting the X axis from negative 45 degrees to negative 30 degrees and the Y axis from 45 degrees to 30 degrees. So from now on, all your X and Y axis will follow this new alignment. The only axis that we do not change is the Z axis. It will remain 90 degrees straight up. Draw the plan using the new axis alignment. The measurements are still the same, and we're drawing it in 1 to 50 scale. Here, I'm drafting the floor plan using the wall middle line first. and then offset it 75mm on both sides to make the wall thickness 150mm. Isometric is one of the 3D drawing that combines the three axes, X, Y, and Z, in one drawing. The other one is called axonometric, but we're not covering that in this video. Now I'm marking the Z axis, which is indicated by the vertical line, on all corners. These will be used as reference for the vertical part of the wall. At this point, remember that we're drawing at ground level. We need to add 150mm thickness of the floor slab. Typically, the wall cut should be more or less the same height with how you draw your plan. And plan cut is usually between 1 to 1.5 meters from the floor. The height of my wall cut is 1300mm or 1.3 meters above the floor slab surface. Take into consideration where the doors and windows are located. Cutting at 1.3 meter height would cut across all the doors and windows. As you can see here, whenever I find a line that is confirmed, I would just use the final pencil to draw the line. This is entirely optional, as you can also draft the entire drawing first before committing with the final pencil. But me, I just like to see the results as I go, which also makes it easier for you to follow. I am now working on the window. The window is cut, so we can only see the bottom half. The frames, seal, jam, and glass need to be detailed out.
Just like the window, the door needs the same attention to detail. At this point, you should be able to see the floor slab thickness of 150mm just below the door. Finish up with the frames, jam and door leaf. Next, let's work on the staircase. I'm going to start with the landing. The height of the landing surface is 1200mm. Make sure you calculate this from the floor slab, not from the ground. Let's do the easiest test first, the flight up. For reference, the width of each flight is 1000mm. Because we've decided to cut it at 1.3m, we only see a portion of the first step. It's okay, proceed with the drawing the cut step. As a reminder, the stair risers we use here are 150mm and the threads are 250mm. There's a part of the railing post here. So, I'm going to draw that portion first and get it out of the way. Notice that I cut the post at the same height of everything else. Now for the tricky bit, the flight down. The problem here is a portion of the steps are hidden, but the principle remains the same. Rises are 150mm and threads are 250mm. If you draw them accurately, you should get a nice consistent steps going down. Now, onward to the hardest part of this drawing, the angle of the railing. There should be 8 steps including the landing. Because the bottom part of the staircase is hidden, I need to confirm where the first step is supposed to be. So here I've located where the first step is. Mark the railing height at 1000mm on the first step. Using the angle of the staircase as reference, I draw the handrail, upper, middle and lower rails. They also step at the same height of the isometric cut. and detail up the 3D projections. We're not done yet. Now let's work out the rest of the staircase structure on the flight up. I need to construct some reference in order to know the angle of the slab.
I can't decide where it is yet so I just make a mark as reference at the corner Now that I've found the thickness of the landing slab, which is 150mm by the way, and using that as a starting point, I draw the projected angle of the staircase. Now that I know what the cut staircase looks like, time to clean up the lines. Almost done. As usual, don't forget to label your drawings. And indicate the scale as well. And a little bit of rendering would be nice too. And there you are. Level 0 isometric, done. I know it's a bit complex, but don't falter. It's very satisfying when you get it right. Keep on working hard, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like. Thank you.